Yeah. Hello, everybody from afar. Before y'all panic, the four people are in the same room. We just want to let you know that we are all quarantining ourselves very individually and being careful <laughs> of hopefully a good amount of space. Um, so we are still just working through how this is going to work. Most of you um, might have saw our post earlier. We kind of created just an Instagram account to help facilitate this. So if you have like a scripture or a word or a song request or something that you want to share, you can go to local assembly on Instagram and uh, DM us that and we'll be kind of checking it throughout the night. Or if you're on the WhatsApp group, you can just drop it there as well. We'll be checking that as well. Um, so just in the room, if you don't know who we are, I'm Skylar. This is Nat and Corey and Ralph and we're excited to worship um, with you guys tonight. So. I think that's it. Um, I'm just gonna pray before we start and then we'll worship together. Just gonna ask us to quiet our hearts. Um, God, we just ask you to search us. And Lord, we're here to meet with you. God, we're here to meet and sit in your presence. Lord, we seek you, not just the giver of things, but Lord, we seek you yourself. And so God, in this time, in this place, in our world, in the panic and the chaos and the anxiety, God, we just ask for your peace that surpasses all understanding. And God, we just surrender to you. And we ask, Lord, that you would just do your work in us. God, as we worship you tonight, Lord, we just, we thank you for the battle that you've already won. God, that we just stand in a place of victory. God, that we have nothing to fear uh, because you are on our side and you you already know the end of this story. So God, as tonight as we worship you, Holy Spirit, I just invite you to lead us. God, I just thank you for your kindness to us. And Lord, we just lift up so many that need to just hear your truth tonight. So Lord, would you speak to your church? unify your church tonight and God we thank you that we don't battle against flesh and blood but against evil spirits and principalities and so Lord we just ask that this would just be would be pleasing to you God we give you all the praise and all the glory in the name of Jesus Thank you. 
blossom, nor fruit beyond the vines, the produce of the oil fail, and the yield, fields yield no fruit. The flock be cut off from the folds, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, and I will take joy in the God of my salvation. Habakkuk 3.17 God is removing false joys over this time like never before, and reminding me once again to take him. He is my full joy. He suffices and is my everything.
of Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, through the mount, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose stream, whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She, she shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shudders and sh the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I'm going to read that again. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. And the God of Jacob is our fortress.
not far from each one of us for in him we live and move and have our have our being even as some of your own poets have said for we are indeed his offspring
by darkness slain. Then burst in before in glorious day. Now from the grave he rose again. And as he said, in victory, since curse has blood. So I pray tonight for, for those that are, I'm just thinking right now, just a few blocks away where we're filming this, we're, we're just a few blocks from Vancouver General, and there's a lot of people in there suffering and fearful, that's the doctors, the nurses, the patients that are, that are 
trying to overcome this, but Jesus, I just pray for your, your peace over that place. Because this is in Vancouver, it's about the second, third week of, of just this new normal God. And I can I have this feeling that people are getting weary, God, and we just need this, this sense of renewal, new energy. God, I pray that you just fill them with hope. Yes. God, whether that's through your through your spirit or working through your people, serving, serving the people. God, I pray for for supernatural healing over these patients. God. God, fill them up. Fill them up, God. Give them the strength to take each to take breaths, to breathe. Those that know you, God, that are that are suffering from this, God, I pray that you just continue to remind them of who you are as they take their breaths in and out, just to breathe out your praise.
God, we ask that you heal every lung that can't breathe right now. God, you know every person. God, you know you're able. You are the great physician. God, you are the great healer. So God, would you just breathe your life into every lung? And just healing over their bodies, God. I just pray peace over their bodies, God. I just pray freedom over their bodies. In the name of Jesus. Yes.
Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 4. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. They shall bind up the ancient ruins, they shall raise up the former devastations, they shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations.
mountains elsewhere. The matter is one day in your courts, the matter is one day in your house, the matter is one day in your courts, thousands This is from Ezekiel 36, verses 24 to 28. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into our own land. 
I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness, and from all your idols. I will cleanse you, and I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and I will be your God. get the sense if there's something that's um, something especially in the culture we're in the day the hour we're in right now there's something that you just feel as a grip on your heart and your soul just, just pray against that in Jesus name um, and we pray against that tonight Lord whatever that is whether that's anxiety f- um, fear worry um, just distrust or overwhelmness uncertainty of the future, Lord. We just pray against that in Jesus' name. Yes, God. We believe that through your name, the darkness is driven out, and it has no power, that the victory has already been won, and that although we live in a broken world, you still are here, and you still give us your heart, you still give us your spirit, Lord. So we pray against that in Jesus' name. And I'd encourage anyone who's just feeling that to pray pray that out tonight, even right now. And as we're singing, just pray against that. And we do live in a broken world, and uh, yeah, stuff is overwhelming. Anxieties exist, but I just can ask you, and just would encourage you to daily bring that to Christ. To pray against that in Jesus' name, daily, hourly, minutely, if you have to. Because His power is real, and His love for you is is just overwhelming. And we can often so easily forget that. I often forget that. He loves us. He loves you. He wants to wants to carry your burdens. So surrender that to him tonight and in every waking moment that you can. Don't let the enemy trick you into thinking that he's not that Jesus isn't here, the spirit isn't here. Don't let him trick you into thinking that you're alone through this. Because you're not. And so just lift that up. In the name of Jesus, there is freedom. There is freedom for you. No matter where you're at. No matter what you're feeling. Jesus, we thank you for that. We thank you that you're here. Would you continue to reveal yourself to us, Lord?
so much, Lord, that you have freed us from the chains of, of death, Lord, and that you've brought us into, into new life, Lord, that you've made us new creations in you. And mm-hmm. I pray for those, Lord, who are being bogged down, um, who are being weighed down by guilt and shame uh, right now from um, sin that is maybe reoccurring in their life, um, sins that they're just having difficulty forgiving themselves from or, or feeling that, Lord, that you will forgive them. But we may we remember, Lord, what you sent your son to do, that your son came and, and covered that sin for us, that, God, you, you stood in our place and and you you bore you bore our sin and you took upon the wrath of God and Lord you died and you you rose and, and you defeated death and you said that all those who put their hope in you Lord will have new life um, so I pray Lord that we would we would just know that there's no sin um, Lord, that is too, too, too great for you to cover, Lord. Um, that we know that your grace is sufficient. That your love never ceases. Mm-hmm. That your mercy is never ceased. Um, that they're new every morning, Lord. I pray that we would just know that we can walk in the freedom um, of new life. We're servants to you. Um, and that is just so good and so sweet, Lord, that we walk um, in holiness. Uh, would you give us pure hearts, Lord? Mm-hmm. Would you turn our hearts to you? Mm-hmm. Um, and in all of this, Lord, and all of all of this weight, guilt, shame that we might be feeling too, let may may we be quick to repent and confess, uh, confess and repent, Lord. Mm-hmm. Would we be quick to do that, knowing of your mercy and grace for us? So I just I pray that for all of us here. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands.
46 praise the Lord praise the Lord O my soul I will praise the Lord as long as I live I will sing praises to my God while I have my being put not your trust in princes in whom son of man in whom there is no salvation when his breath departs he returns to the earth and on that very day his plans perish blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob Whose hope, is not in the, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, and who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. And the Lord watches over the sojourners, and he upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. Slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is gracious and compassionate.
we thank you for tonight. God, I thank you that you are here and you are among us. God, whether we are in our apartments alone, God, that your spirit is the same in all of us and we are unified in you. So God, I just continually ask for the work of your spirit. God, that even as we go back to whatever else we're doing, God, that your spirit would continue to go with us, Lord, that you would just um, impress your spirit heavy on our hearts, God, that you would speak to us, and God, that we would just be able to hear you yeah. in tangible ways, to know what to pray for, to know how to seek your face. Yeah. So God, would you teach us how to pray? God, would you teach us how to worship? God, would you teach us how to go, go to war in this time and love one another well? So God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory and all the honor. And we just declare, God, that this kingdom, God, is yours. That you have all authority in heaven and on earth. And it belongs to you. So, King Jesus, we praise you. We exalt you on your throne. And, Lord Jesus, we ask you to come. So God, would you be with the lonely? God, would you speak to them? God, with the sick, Lord, would you heal them? 
And God, would you cast out fear in Jesus' name? Mm-hmm. We thank you, God, that you are worthy of all praise. We love you in the name of King Jesus. Amen. 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 Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. See you next week. See you soon.